In this video, I'll show you how you can download and install SPSS. So here we'll go to google.com, search for IBM SPSS. First link that you'll see here, SPSS software, IBM. You can see here that try IBM SPSS modeler for free and try SPS statistics for free. So we have to go for IBM SPS statistics for free. Of course, if you are using it for the education purpose, you can try it and it is available for 30 days for free. So we'll click on try SPSS statistics for free. Here you need to register for the account. So I'll be giving my So are you a student? I'll choose yes and then click next. It will send you the email for the verification. So you will enter the verification code. So here is the seven digit code that I have received. I'll simply copy it and paste it over here and create an account. It will create an IBM ID. Here you can see IBM ID is activated. So now what we'll do, it will send me the code here. Four digits are already there. I need to enter the last four digit here and verify. My IBM account is now active. And here you can see that my IBM SPS statistics subscription trial version is available and it will expire on 29th of July, 2024. So I'll just download it. Which version you want to install? Of course, I'm using Windows 11 64 bit. And if you're not sure which version you have, you will simply check for about your PC, 64 bit operating system is installed. So I'll simply go back here, download 64 bit edition. We'll wait for this to complete. All right, so file has been downloaded. We'll simply open the file now. So it will ask your permission to install and we'll simply click on install. Just follow the wizard. There you go. So it's installing IBM SPSS statistics override any existing installation. So I don't have any ex existing installation. So I'll be just accepting the license agreement. It will install in the default directory and click to install. Don't be in rush. Just wait for the package to be installed. It is updating the components, copying the new file. All right, so installation is completed. So we'll click on finish. We'll wait for IBM SPSS to be loaded. So if you are using PSPP, so PSPP is also one of the statistical analysis tool that you can use. And of course, if you are using pure data visualization and data analysis, then you can go for Power BI. So I have provided the link of everything in the description. So you'll understand how you can use that. So we'll wait for IBM SPSS to start. So here we have to log in with the IBM ID or launch the license wizard. Of course, we are using this trial version. So we'll be logging in with the IBM account that we created in the first step. So here the IBM ID, I'll click remember me and continue, enter the password and log in. So here you'll get again the code by email that you will need to enter. So I'll be checking the code on my other device. So here I'll enter the code and verify. All right, so IBM SPSS. So I'll allow the firewall setting here. It is now ready to be used. So I won't be importing any data set right now. So we'll just go here to the interface and you can do all the operations here, whether you want to get the data, whether you want to transform, whether you want to analyze, check the graphs and all of that. So PSPP has few feature but SPSS has a lot of features. You can import the data from various databases and whatever data you have. Then of course you can do the analysis tools, various statistic analysis tools. So how to use that I'll show you in the next video.